When you're setting up your SDS page gels in one of these BioRed Tetra cells, they have a tendency to leak if you don't set them up properly. So when you have your gel cassette or your buffer dam, you'll see that one side is gonna be tall and then the other side is gonna be short. The top of this short part, this, needs to be flush with the bottom of the rubber part. So you're gonna have a gel on either side of here or one side's gonna have a buffer dam and one side's gonna have a gel. In both cases, the short side is gonna need to be in because that short side is then going to need to come and align right with the bottom of here. This is really important for preventing leaks. It's hard to coordinate when you're doing both sides, but what you wanna do is kind of what to get it in in the first place, angle it down. So angle it down so you're here, then push back and push up. So right, you're right up above the, right below the line. So you're right at the line. If you push too far, you're gonna go above it and you're gonna break the seal. You wanna keep holding this really, really tight, flip it over, keep pressure on the back, Take your other one, short side in, angle down, push back, push up. So again, going right to the bottom, the top of the short side is right at the bottom of that green plastic. Check the other side to make sure that one is still good too. And then you want to clamp it. When you stick it in your box, you wanna make sure that you're sticking it in the way that's gonna be most convenient for you to load. And so you should kind of strategize beforehand so that when the box is in, you wanna make sure the red is to the red and the black is to the black. And then these are going to, these electrodes are gonna to need to be in contact with these. And so you wanna make sure that you're gonna have your gel in the right orientation. If I had put this on the back one, well now the gel wouldn't fit the lid wouldn't fit and if I flip it around now I've got red to black and so the reason why I like to do it with the one closer is then it's easier to load and so when you're setting depending on when you're trying to figure out which side to put your gel on if you have a dam think about where it'll be in the box and then put your gel on the side that's going to be closer to closest to the plastic in order to make sure that you actually do have a sealed cassette what you want to do is take some of your buffer and pour a little of it into the center. And now you wanna look and make sure that it's, the line is not going down, you're not leaking. If you have it so that the, that the plastic is overlapping with that green, so it's not right flush against it, but it's actually overlapping, then it's gonna not have a seal and it's gonna be draining right now. So you wanna put just a partial volume of liquid so you can see if it drains. Once you've checked to make sure it's not dripping, then you can go ahead and fill this all the way up. So I like to just fill it all the way and then let it overflow. And so you wanna make sure that it covers the bottom of the gels. And I typically don't even go all the way to the 2X, two gel line. I just go till it's, you need to make sure that it's covering the bottom that you have it in contact, the liquid in contact with the gel at the top and the bottom. And then it, that's why it's really important that this inner casket is sealed because even if you have the same buffer in and out, if this leaks down, then the run is not gonna work. You can salvage it if it's running part way and you realize it's leaking, you can pour more, you can pause the run and pour more buffer on the top so that's too what you could do is you could take a big syringe and kind of like pull it out and then put it back in, but then you have to keep a really close eye on it as it runs. So the best thing to do is to just check and make sure it's not leaking before you do that. And so again, in order to set this up, you want to take your gels. And so these are these precast gels, but it doesn't have to be precast gels. You can have your own handmade ones too. And you want to go down to the bottom, back, and push up. Keep that held tightly. Now the other one, down, short side, in, flip back, push up. I check both sides, make sure that my top of the plastic is right at the bottom of the, the green line, the green ledge, 
and I push these in. And now I go and I look. Sometimes you might need to be like double check. Okay, is that one really, is that in tight? Okay, it looks okay, it looks okay, looks okay, and looks okay. So now I'm going to go in here. But I still am gonna to wanna to test it by pouring out a little buffer into the center in order to make sure that it's good.